But in the case of Srila Prabhupada, it was a fact because by these explanations, by the purports, actually the text became understandable. Mm. And therefore, uh, in these purports, in these translations, we're directly associating with Srila Prabhupada. And you know, in this world, we live in the information age. We're always bombarded with information. But you just never know if it's true. Right? You just, you know, and one, per, one day you hear information from one side, then you hear it from the opposite side, and you just don't know what is the truth. Very difficult. But with Srila Prabhupada's writings, we can appreciate this is the absolute truth. Here, this is written by a person who is fully trustworthy. He has very carefully given us the scriptures that are coming down from Krishna. We can cent percent trust every word in these books. So for once, we can read with our filters off. Whereas in the world, always whatever you hear, filters on, you know, push the filter button. Uh, and it's the real thing. No, it's not. It's rubbish. Right? Yes. And so on. So, Srila Prabhupada's books, we can fully rely on them, fully trust these books. And that's why to connect with them is very important. Immediately lifts us up to the transcendental platform. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama.